Hello and welcome to the 21st video in this beginner series programming our tile puzzle game with Cocos 2D on the iPad. So in this video the first thing we're going to do is add a couple of app icons. I'm not going to do anything else graphically. I'm going to leave the launch images the same as they were but I'm going to add a couple of icons to the application. And when you add your icons on the iPad they need to be for normal resolution 72 by 72 pixels and for high 144 by 144. So simply select them and then drag and drop into the appropriate place and that's all you, all you need to do for your application icons. The next thing I want to do and the last thing I want to do is add sound into our application and I've got three WAV files are created here. One of them is called cheering.wave and that's the sound of people cheering which will play when the game's won. Got tile slide which is an annoying sound I created using a free program called CFXR and you can Google that and look it up. Um, it's a free sort of synth basically to create a very annoying zap tiles uh, sliding sound. And then I've got the tile land sound which is sort of a, a high pitched thudding sound when the tile has finished sliding. So it'll be a or something like this, excuse the impersonation kind of sound when the tile moves. Anyway, I didn't spend much time on it and it's very irritating. But it's just here for demonstration. So I'll select these three WAV files and I'm going to drag them over to the resources and I'm going to make sure I've got copy items into destination groups folder if needed and click finish. And now WAV files are in so the only thing we need to do is play them. So we'll go into gameplay layer.h and we'll need to use something called a simple audio engine. And I've already imported this at the top so you need to add this import line at the top of your file to import the simple audio engine. And the way you then play audio is very, very simple indeed, like the name says. We simply have to load the effects in the initialization into the engine, and then we simply call one method called play effect, and that plays the sounds. So that's all we need to do. Now, the simple audio engine exists like the director as a singleton. So there's one in instance of this class existing throughout the life of the application, and that holds all of your audio. So if we go down to the init function and to Right at the top, I'm going to paste in three lines, which are all the same, but they simply say, like getting the shared director, get the shared engine, so our singleton of a simple audio engine, and call a method to preload an effect. And that then simply loads our tile land effect, and we do the same for the cheering and the tile slide. And that's all we need to do to actually load these into the application. And now we'll come to playing our effects and the first one I'm going to play is the tile landing so it will make a sort of thud when the drag has been finished so I'll put it at the start of drag finished so we simply need to say get our shared engine and call on that engine play effect and say which one we need to play and the only prerequisite obviously is we've loaded this in the initialization file I want the tile slide effect to be played when a tile is actually being dragged around the board so I'll put that just before we start doing our move actions on the tile sprite here inside execute tile drag and play tile slide and the last one is the cheering sound which needs to go inside the one game function which is here so at the start of that we'll play some cheering and that's all we need to do to get the sounds running in the application so I'll start the application in the simulator and now let's listen to the irritating sounds that pop out of the application. So if I slide, if I stay quiet now and just slide a tile, you can see we get our slide and then plop. So our tile slide and our tile land. And now if I reset and then go to easy and slide this to win the game, we also get our irritating cheering sound of the game being won. Okay, one more thing to do, I'll just stop the application, bring back up the simulator and you can see that our application icon is here on the iPad screen. So that's it then for this tutorial, indeed this tutorial series. I hope that's given you a good idea of the basics of how Cocos 2D works and that you enjoyed making it a little bit. The I've been supplying in the zip files with the code so far, always just the gameplay layer zipped or any files that we've changed during the 
making of the application. In the download for this video, however, will be the whole Xcode project so you can play around with it. So thanks again for listening. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.